Hi, my name's Tammy, and I love, love Rambler. The one thing that's said about it, though, is that it's a little bit difficult to figure out how to use. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to download um, tracks, and we ride horses, and this is a horse track from when we were in Eminence, Missouri. Um, and I'm going to show you how to download and then how to put them on the map. Now it's important to note that you can have 12 maps of the 12 tracks of the area downloaded. However, you can only have five shown on the map. So I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to go down here to explore. And then from here, you're going to go up to the three hamburg dots up here, and you're going to click on that. You're going to click search. Once you get to this screen, you go up to the search bar up at top and type in Eminence, Missouri. And you click search and it'll take just a second and we'll get a list up and here you see that we have this list so what we do is we go and we choose one I'm trying to find one that i might not have on the list um, let's just try this one we're going to do the day one um, And you can see where it goes. Then you go to the button up here, download. Click download and it'll take just a second. Um, here you can choose to have the info on the route or you can hit choose to have the media files. Now if you don't have a lot on, um, then you don't have to put the media files on. Now this add to my map, that's what I talked about on whether uh, saying that you can only have five on there. Now I'm not going to put that on there because I do want to show you how to put it on once you get them downloaded. And then you click start download. Now a, a tip for you is what I did is I went online and um, on my computer and I picked out the um, trips that I wanted to download and made a list of them before I went and downloaded them because you do want to do it while you're on a Wi-Fi otherwise it sucks your data. Um, so now you can see that the trip has been downloaded and there's the trip. Now what you need to do from here is go to the top here and click that back button and then back again. And then you're going to click on the bottom here on me. So you click here and then you're going to see downloaded right here. Now you have the tabs across the top trips, downloaded and collections. Click on downloaded. Now you can see here this little um, blue mark right here. That tells me that it's on the map. Okay, so now if I want another one that I've downloaded, I think we did, which one did we just do? Oh, I think we did, oops, I'm going to go back. Um, I think we did this day one. So in order to put this one additionally on the map, we're going to go click on this button right here. And that adds it to the map. So you can have a bunch in the background, but you can only have five on. So now we'll go to the map by going back and back. And then we're going to click on track. And you can see that now both of those tracks are on there. So there's two tracks on there right now. So if you get out there, you can get back um, by following one of those tracks. Now what I typically do is if we're riding in a different area, I'll, I'll download those for that area. So that is how you put, um, you download maps, uh, tracks, and put them on your map for Rambler.